salutations friends it's your pal said stevie uh probably gonna do a little bit of rambling today uh out with my pal ella ella what do you think of the snow she's liking it out here but uh yeah we took a little drive today and it's uh it's snowing like the dickens Expected, I expected there to be snow, but not snowing uh, this much out where we're at. So, uh, not going to continue as far as I thought we would. But uh, I've never taken Ella out into the snow like this before. And we've had snow at home and she's run around in it, but she's enjoying it out here. So, um, I don't think I'm going to have too much, but I did bring some. I've got a bunch of mail uh, that I'm backed up, uh, getting to. And so I brought it with me and maybe I'll do some unboxings, uh, from the truck. So, uh, I don't know. Stay tuned. Ella. What do you think, Ella? Is it too getting too cold for you? Huh? You want to get warmed up in the truck? All right. Back in the truck. Uh, Ella's getting warmed up. There's Ella. There's Ella, getting warmed up. But, uh, yeah, so it's starting to actually snow pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to take too long with this. Just want to get into some packages here. Uh, also, the the snow uh, is wreaking havoc on the beard a little bit. And I figured I'd show off uh, for you serious beardsmen on the go. I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything, so I am not. don't know why I'm trying to do a commercial. But uh, I always carry uh, this portable uh cordless beard comb uh beard brush heated beard brush uh in my truck it's usb uh, c rechargeable uh low medium high settings uh and when the beard gets a little uh a little aloof i just give it a little uh just get a, a little pass over pass through and tighten things back up and then i'm good to go again uh, it does have a lock feature, and when I'm done with it, I just slide that little lock, turns it all off, and then uh, I'll apply a little balm. I got my uh, Cherry Matisfaction Special Edition uh, beard balm on me. Every time I make a batch, I always make a little bit extra uh, and keep it for me to sample. So uh, this is my balm. Just take a little... Uh, about that much, a little dollop. Warm it up in the hands and the palms. Get it nice and uh, viscous. And then just give it a there. Now, uh, I also always travel with a uh, beard brush, beard comb. Just give it a little pass through, a little comb. And boom, beard game back on point. Can get into the unboxings, unpackagings. Uh, unpackaging knife is going to be the Edgy Blade Works. Whoop, camera's over here. Uh, the tipper that I've been carrying around for, uh, let's see, about five days now. It's been in pocket every day. I did an unboxing uh, on it, and I've shown it off on some lives. Uh, I love this thing from Edgy Blade Works. Uh, Scott did an amazing job. Production level quality, uh, titanium liner lock, uh, camo quartz, uh, carbon fiber scales. Uh, he's calling these gobstopper uh, color. Magna cut, three and a half inch blade. Oh, look, you can see the reflection of my hat. Look at that stone deep theory monkey. But anywho, uh, this is the knife I've been carrying all week. Uh, first package comes from Mahomey. Mr. Cletus, a.k.a. Patina Turner. I actually got this from him a few weeks ago, and I keep forgetting uh, to open it. He's asked me, he's bugged me about it, and I'm kind of rude. I haven't uh, unpackaged it yet. But, yes. It's a sack lunch here. Uh, I got a slice of toast. For those of you that don't know, uh, Pacific Northwest Toast Company a uh, local uh, maker of uh, jank. Oh, look at you, dude, throwing in a little bit of extra swag. A sticker I don't currently have. Boom, Beard of Doom. 
I got a Beard of Doom hang, but I don't actually have a Beard of Doom sticker. So shout out to Beard of Doom. Was hanging with Doom a little bit on Javon's uh, Off the Edge last night with uh, Pocket Metal and Dark Gravity and uh, Ed Harrison. Uh, but, oh, dude, awesome. All right, so uh, Pacific Northwest Toast Co. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, out of, I believe, Tacoma, Washington. Uh, makes pocket jewelry, like my homie uh, Jack's Lungs. Uh, this is the Certificate of Authenticity, uh, 115-2001. This is vintage uh, linen canvas Tiffany blue uh, micarta. And it's a single finger nut. And, oh boy, this is good looking. There is a look at that. The liner there. Boom. So just uh, some pocket jewelry that's made local to me in uh, Washington State. Boom, look at that. It even fits my uh, middle finger. Is it going to get stuck? It's not. But I've always wanted to own something from Pacific Northwest Toast Company. And his drops are harder than heck to get. He basically does a live lottery on Facebook only. Um, like Tuesdays at 6 p.m. He'll have uh, X amount available. Uh, you go in on the post, and then he does a live drawing, and there's only like five, and there'll be hundreds and hundreds of people that get in on it, and I've never been able to get one. Uh, Jake also will like go in for me to try to get one uh, so I can get it, and uh, always been unsuccessful, but Patina had one, and I uh, was looking to pass it along, and I said, uh, I'll take it. So that's awesome. Uh, also another sticker... AMW. I'm drawing a blank on what this is, but that's a cool sticker. And then there's also this uh, toast bead that we got going on in here. Let's see, check, see what's that? That's all the boots. It's a bag within a bag. Sorry, folks, this is taking uh, a little long, and the snow is coming down pretty good. So I need to, uh, I need to step it up. But, oh, it's a patch, actually. Sweet. It's not a coin. Uh, it's a patch. So that'll go on the backpack. And then a uh, toast uh, sticker. So shout out to my homie Cletus, uh, Miss Patina Turner. Thank you very much, brother. I am going to incorporate this into my EDC. Uh, I, I, it's also, it's got a lanyard uh, hole on it. Uh, I do have a doodad for it. So I'll get a uh, I'll get a doodad going on that, um, but yeah, I also I always carry uh, some sort of pocket jewelry on me. Uh, I usually carry my Jack's Lungs uh, single finger nut with a uh, bead uh, that he did. So I'll uh, toss this some. I think I have another uh, bead in lanyard uh, from Jake that I'll toss on uh, my slice of toast. So there's that. All right, uh, next one. This comes from EDC and Lace. Uh, Miss Lacey is one of the cool things, obviously, about any Tanto, but about this blade uh, as a package opener. I can just, with the edge, just boom, get right into it. Just the, just the point of the uh, Tanto there and uh, get this bad boy open. But, uh, yes, EDC and Lace, uh, if you don't know, um, I'll link her in Insta uh, her Instagram account as well and her YouTube channel. Um, but she makes uh, diamond uh, emulsions for stropping. And uh, let's see, got a uh, little note here from her. Thank you so much for your uh, purchase of my diamond emulsions. Uh, spray, uh, your support is greatly appreciated, uh, Lacey. And, uh, oh, look at that. She tossed in some, uh, candies. And then here, now I've heard good things about her, uh, diamond emulsions. Uh, uh, mainly from, uh, Mr. Edgy American, Shane Shane. Uh, my homie, my brother. And, uh, he said he loves it. So I actually got two different. I got, uh, a one, uh, micron. It says to shake well on it, which I will. And then I got a uh, 15 micron. So uh, I'm going to start uh, doing more stropping. Uh, 
I have a, a paddle strop that from like Beaver Creek or something. I've never really used it. Um, but I figured if I'm going to get some new, it's loaded up with uh, stuff and I know I could probably clean it. But since I just got some new uh, diamond emulsion, I figured I would also get some new uh, strops. And um, my homie over at Lancelot Leather, Joe, has these ugly strops on his, uh, in his store. Uh, so, uh, with every purchase from Lancelot Leather, you always get a nice leather or um, little canvas bag with his logo on it. I uh, got me a better than cardboard sticker, an EDC roundtable sticker, and his business card. So uh, when you get something from EDC Roundtable, you're always going to get something a little similar. Uh, Jake's got cards, Forrest's got cards, he's got stickers, um, and we try to include, you know, some, some stickers uh, in with there. Uh, and then Joe also has these uh, thank you uh, for your support cards. But uh, these are just uh, chunks of leather. That's all they are. And uh, I picked these up from him. Um, I might mount these to uh, something. I don't know. I have plenty of, like, scrap pieces of wood. I can probably make my own little paddle out of this and uh, get them loaded up and uh, start doing some stropping. So uh, that's cool. Shout out again to Lacey. Uh, Lace. And, or EDC and Lace. Uh, Miss Lacey. Joe, as always, will be linked in the description, as will uh, Lacey. Uh, what's next? Um, oh, this comes from Glow Rhino. Uh, Glow Rhino makes uh, all sorts of different tritium products. Uh, one of the things they make that is always uh, part of my EDC on my keys is uh, their uh, tritium glow fobs. I've had this for like four years, maybe three years. Uh, love it. Uh, it goes on my key uh, ring. And I have a bunch of different stuff from them. Uh, they got into knife modding uh, projects, uh, mainly with Benchmade and uh, Spider Co. And I have, I built a mini grip with, and put their thumb studs, uh, tritium thumb studs on it. Or is that a fact? Ella's wanting me to wrap it up. Just like Gary heckling me, Ella's starting to heckle me. Um, but I also put one of their lanyard plugs on my Spyderco uh, Pair 3. And I found out that their lanyard plugs also fit the uh, Manix uh, 2. So I have... Uh, I don't like lanyards. And I don't like having extra holes in my knives. So I'm going to put this lanyard plug uh, in there and have a little bit of tritium. So uh, there's that. Uh, next up, um, this one is actually a knife. This is coming from, I think this is from 814 EDC, uh, sent this as part of a pass along. I don't remember what knife it is. I know he told me, and then I promptly, uh, forgot, uh, threw in some tactical peanuts there. But yeah, I don't remember what this knife is. Luckily, uh, it says on the box what it is. Uh, this is uh, CMB made knives. This is, oh yeah, the Dharma. That's right. That's right. Uh, this is a pass around knife. And I don't remember anything about it, but it must have been cool enough for me to say I wanted to go in on it. Oh, this guy. Right. Okay, the CMB made uh, Dharma. That's right. I thought this thing looked uh, pretty cool. Uh, I liked the... Uh, it had a, has a top flipper, slot for deployment, uh, back flipper as well. Let's give it a flick. Okay. Uh, drop point uh, style blade. Uh, finger chole in there. Um, this is a bolster lock, I guess. Drops, shakes, not bad. Front flipper. Um, how do you use it? Let's do the back flipper. All right, not bad. Uh, how do I do the, the front flipper on that? I don't know. Do 
Do I come over the top? I'm like, what? Hmm. <clears throat> My brain's not uh, figuring out how to actuate it using the front flipper. I don't know. I'll have to spend some time with this, but uh, first impressions, uh, I guess it looks okay. I don't know what the blade steel is on it. It's not marked. I don't know if this is a prototype. I don't know if this thing is available, but uh, it's obviously all blacked out. Looks to have a decent uh, pocket clip on it, a uh, backspacer, uh, carbon fiber inlays. I'm assuming this is titanium. Um, yeah, I don't know. Kind of a plain Jane knife. I got to figure out what's going on with that front flipper. But yeah, it's not bad. Got to figure out price point and all that. I don't know who the OEM is or anything, but it's just a knife for me to start uh, checking out and... I'll do a follow-up video on it, and I don't know. We'll see. First impressions are, eh, doesn't seem like it sucks, but it also doesn't seem, you know, I don't know. Again, sometimes knives do that to me, and I spend a few days with them, then I'm like, holy shit, this is an amazing knife. Last, but certainly not least, uh, in the packages today is coming from my homie, my brother, Mr. Sharif Manganas. So, uh, Sharif was recently out and about on a little uh, weekend excursion. I forget where he said it was, but he said he found some stuff that... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, here it is. He went to the uh, Bigfoot uh, Discovery Museum um, down in his neck of the woods. And uh, look at that, he picked me up a little... Uh, keychain uh, bottle opener uh, with the big foot on it. It also looks to have like a little hex driver on it. Uh, that's cool. That can go on the keychain for sure. And then also another, uh, you know, little silhouette of a big foot. So yeah, uh, he was just in their gift shop, saw that stuff, and awesome. Uh, shout out to uh, Sharif Manganas. He'll be linked down in the description as well. He's been killing it. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to his YouTube channel, uh, he's been putting out some really, really, really awesome videos. Uh, he's got his new uh, Kaimano uh, prototypes in. Uh, looking forward to those. Uh, but yeah, awesome dude, uh, friend, and appreciate that, man. So I think that's all I got. Uh, the snow is coming down pretty good. Uh, I want to get back down the road. I'm off-road now. Um, not like big four wheeling or nothing, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit before I get back to the main road, which they do plow, but, uh, yeah. So what do you think, Ella? You ready to go? You ready to go, Ella? Maybe take her for another quick little walk. She does like it out there. She's not a huge fan of the, uh, truck rides. It's been a minute since I brought her, but she seems to get a little bit of anxiety for a little while while it's moving. And then she settles in, but still trying to break her in to be in my uh, little truck pal. So that's it, folks. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Um, and until the next one, I will talk to you mofos later. And I bid you adieu.